Borders tab settings. When we're in our new table styles, uh, we can come up here and we want to choose whichever styles were affected. In this case, I have data selected and I am in my data. And then I want to go to the Borders tab. In the Borders tab, I can set the line weight for my data cell, the line that goes around the cell. Typically, we have to load that line type. Um, excuse me that we have to, for the line type we have to load the line type in ahead of time uh, also we can set the line weight that goes around the data cell the line weight we can set to a particular line weight and I can set it to be a really wide line weight if I want or very thinner line weight I can set the color to uh, I can say I want that to be yellow, for example, or it can be green, and we can. It will be the line weights around the uh, borders of the data cell will be green. I can set it to be a double line, so just having one line going around, I can have a double line, and I can set the spacing in between each line. I can also apply what borders are seen. I can say all borders. So when I'm saying it's green, all the borders are selected in this case. When I turn that off, I can say, well, um, let's apply it to just outside border. So I can apply it just to the outside border. So I can go to just the inside borders or just the bottom of the border or the left side or the top or the right side or no borders so I click on the borders it hides the borders so they're all gone so if I just wanted to go to the bottom border you can see how the bottom border would be highlighted and I can say none I can just say well I want just the outside borders and then the outside borders are highlighted so we can control the border lines down here and we can actually do a combination of things if you like um, we can do the left edge and the left edge gets drawn then in the bottom line and anytime we want to get rid of them we just do the none all right so the border tab controls the line weight we can set any line we want. It controls the line type. The line type must be loaded before you go to pick it. We can choose any color, typically by block or by layer. And also we can go with double lines. We can set the spacing of the double lines. And we control any of the uh, arrangement of the borders that we want uh, or none if we like.